We're rowing, rowing, rowing down the river of souls. Hey Curselings, Curselor Todd here with another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the new Night Haunt Hero from Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Aurok the Drowner. So let's dive into this bad boy, see what we got. So first of all, I, I'm really digging the new box art for a lot of these. I mean, this one's interesting how it goes vertical when you turn it over instead of um, horizontal. But uh, I was checking this out a little earlier, sorry. But something I noticed is when I pulled out the tab, they have the Night Haunt symbol on there. How cool is that? That's just a, I mean, it's kind of a needless detail, but it's kind of cool at the same time. It's really, really neat. So let's go ahead and pull this, this guy out. Take a look at that instruction booklet. See how he goes together. All right, so this does look like a complicated piece, in my opinion. Lots of little, little pieces that we have to be aware of that all go together, like this, uh, this set of bones on the inside of the ship. It really makes me wonder uh, how I'm gonna put this together, if I'm gonna do, be doing sub-assemblies for painting or, or whatever. Um, just because of the sheer amount of detail, I want to make sure I'm, I'm able to at least reach most of everything, if not everything, really well. But yeah, this 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 one has a lot of pieces to it. It looks awesome. I can't wait to get it together, get it painted, and get it on the board. Um, I just love how he's just like floating over the soles. He's got all the, you know, he's paddling right through the soles to get through there and his stats, you know. Very, very cool model. So it's broken down into three frames, you know. We'll go ahead and look at this one first. So I don't think it'll be too hard to get together. It's just figuring out those subassemblies assemblies to make sure that, uh, I'm able to paint it all right. I think that's the only real concern that I have. Base. It does look really, really cool. I want to play this against uh, Curse Lord Trevor's um, Idoneth Deepkin. Je just for the fact that he's a ferryman and they're, they're uh, underwater elves and I think it'll be a cool theme to match, you know. They're, they're trying to, to devour the souls to live forever. He's just you know, ferrying them or whatever he does. Um, I'm not sure exactly what what his role is. I haven't read the, the floor yet, fluff on it yet. So, but I have here his rules, so we can take a quick look at those. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit here. Okay, so Alrak the Drowner. So he has a very decent movement value of 10. Seven wounds, ten bravery, four plus save. He does fly. Um, I think his weapon is very decent. It's got a three inch range, so he can he can reach guys all the way in the back. Four attacks, three plus three plus negative two rend, and a D three damage. So he he's actually pretty decent in a fight. Um, now I think we've seen this in the Warhammer previews on the Warhammer community, Passage Through the Underworlds. So this one, um, you can use this command ability. Yeah, you, you can use this command ability at the start of your movement phase. If you do so, pick one friendly Night Haunt unit on the board. That is visible to this unit. Okay, so he has to be able to see them. That unit must receive the command 
So first, after that unit is given the command, first, remove this unit from the board. Now when it sa says this unit, it means Alrec the, the Drowner, not the, the unit you chose. So you, you move Alrec the Drowner from the battlefield and set it up again on the battlefield more than nine inches away from all enemy units. Then you remove that friendly night hunt, the the friendly night hunt unit, the one that you chose to receive the command. You remove that one from the battlefield and set it up wholly within 12 inches of this unit, which would be Aurak, and more than nine inches from all enemy units. This counts as their move for that movement phase. So he literally ferries other unit, uh, night hunt units across anywhere on the board where you need them. So I think that's really cool. And then he has his scything ram. After this unit makes a charge move, you can pick one enemy, enemy unit within one inch of this unit and roll a dice. On a two plus, that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. If any models are slain by the mortal wounds caused by this ability, add D3 to the attack characteristics of this unit's dead wood ores until the end of the turn. Wow! So he has the potential of having seven attacks, possibly. That is amazing. So yeah, I, I really can't wait to get this guy together. I can't wait to play the new, uh, the new Night Hunt book. Uh, I've been going through it. I, I really like what I see in it. And uh, I, I'm really looking forward to it. And so, um, yeah, that is it. So thank you so much for joining me with this uh, video. I'm going to get this guy together, get him on the turntable to end this out. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, just a little side note, I, I'm sure you guys saw that I have the, the Night Hunt book. Um, now, I know others have put out their reviews on the Night Hunt book. And I'm willing to do the same. If you guys do want me want to see it, let me know. And uh, I will do a separate video for the Night Hunt, the Daughters of Cain, or any book that you guys want me to review, or any new books that come out that I do get. I'll be happy to review them. And here we have the completed model for Alric the Drowner. This is a fantastic piece. This is just amazing. I love the detail to it. I, I love I love his rules. Um, beautiful new Night Hunt hero named character. Just really awesome. Um, just a few things I want to point out. Uh, just so you guys know, the spirits are are not there's several things here that are not glued on. One is the spirits, then Alrek himself is not glued on. And then uh, the rib cage on the front of the boat is not glued on. Those are all stuck on with tick, uh, sticky tack or poster tack. And the reason for that is, is so that way I can prime them all separately and paint it up separately so I can get all the details and the nooks and crannies and everything I need to get uh, when it comes to painting this model. So, but here it is complete. Like I said, uh, there's sticky tack on there. so. I can show you guys the completed version. I am hoping to get this painted up sometime soon and get him in a game and get him in a battle report for you guys because uh, I, I really love the new Night Hunt. They are really, really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It'll help us out so we can make more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching.